the Princess Royal met with personnel from across the corps at St. Omer Barracks, Aldershot, who played a central role in providing logistical support during Queen Elizabeth II's funeral and other ceremonial duties. She made the appearance in her role as Colonel-in-Chief of both the Royal Logistic Corps and Royal Corps of Signals. This comes despite the seven-day period of royal mourning. Princess Anne met with personnel from across the corps at St. Omer Barracks, Aldershot, Image, PA, the period of national mourning ended on Tuesday, but royal mourning will continue until 8 a.m. on Tuesday. This means working royals are not expected to carry out official engagements. Earlier today, Princess Anne met with Royal Navy chiefs who took part in the Queen's funeral in Portsmouth. She thanked members of the armed forces in her role as Commodore-in-Chief Portsmouth. Princess Anne is Colonel-in-Chief of both the Royal Logistic Corps and Royal Corps of Signals, Image, PA, this comes despite the seven-day period of royal mourning, Image, PA, Anne is not the only royal to have returned to work earlier than expected. Earlier today, Kate and William were pictured on a surprise royal engagement at Windsor's Guild Hall to meet volunteers and operational staff who were involved in facilitating the committal service for Queen Elizabeth II. The service was held on Monday afternoon at St. George's Chapel. The unsung heroes worked behind the scenes on the day itself and in the run-up to the service to arrange port loose bins, road signs and move flowers among other duties. Princess Anne, image, Princess Anne, she thanked members of the armed forces in her role as Commodore-in-Chief Portsmouth, image, Gaddy, Kate and William, who were both dressed in black outfits for the engagement, were met by huge crowds when they arrived in Windsor. While this is Kate's first appearance since the committal service at Street. George's Chapel, her husband William appeared on video at the Earthshot Innovation Summit held in New York on Wednesday. The funeral took place at Westminster Abbey at 11 a.m. on Monday. It was conducted by the very Reverend Dr. David Hoyle Dean of Westminster. Queen's Funeral Viewership, Image, Express, Trending Meanwhile, the sermon was delivered by the Most Reverend and Right Honorable Justin Welby. Archbishop of Canterbury. A peak audience of around 28 million people tuned in to watch the service, which was broadcast on more than 50 UK channels. Princess Anne was at her mother's bedside during her final hours and travelled with the Queen's coffin from Scotland to London. In a statement after her mother's death, the Princess Royal said, I was fortunate to share the last 24 hours of my dearest mother's life. It has been an honor and a privilege to accompany her on her final journeys. Witnessing the love and respect shown by so many on these journeys has been both humbling and uplifting, 